I'm starting to outgrow my storage room a bit. Luckily, I still have a bit of space left, but I want a new building to house some bulk processors. And while we're at it, why not make a proper farm for both gravel, sand, and maybe even throw some terracotta in there. And to get ourselves started on this factory here, we need to start doing some material gathering. So I'm gonna grab up probably two shulker boxes because I'm gonna need a lot of wood. And to get ourselves our wood, we need to head over here to the lumber mill and get to it, gathering up all of the wood supplies we need. Some wood supplies here for the build gathered up. Now I'm hoping here in my storage that I have some terracotta. Yes. We'll turn a bit of this into some bricks right here. And forget about a couple of red terracotta bricks as well. I need to make some cyan dye here. So hit my wall into the wall of chest. And where, where are my cactus? Ah, oh, there they are. Thank you. I'm curious if I have any rooted dirt. I think I do. Not up there. Um, not in any of those. Any of the vegetation ones? Oh, oh, here it is. All right, perfect. And before we get building here, we also have to run over to the spider farm and I need to repair my tools. With our tools repaired, I have one block that I'm missing. So let's pick up a shulker box, fly up to the steam power plant where I have now hidden my nether portal right here. Merging out here at the mangrove, I've got to grab up a box of mud because I'm running low. Box full of mud and a few extra muddy mangrove roots as a bonus. And we will actually be using a few of those today. Over at the barn as well. Let's see. Yes, we're going to grab up a stack of wheat so we can make some packed mud. We are also going to do a harvest on our fields because, yeah, it's pretty full. And um, I don't know how the other ones are doing, but hopefully they're fine. I'm still lacking on the rice department. Um, I've got four rice so far. Nope, never mind. We got five now. I've got this big empty area up here on the mountain right next to the steam plant. And I think this is going to be perfect for our building factory. There is just so many animals, though. Oh, Minecraft, your pathfinding... It's weird. If you didn't know, animal pathfinding will pathwind upwards. So that's why on mountains in long-term worlds, you will always get animals concentrated on the top of hills. I haven't been that much over here, but I'm thinking if I just fly over here, there will be animals up here. Yeah, it's full with animals. While down here in the valley, there is barely none. But enough with getting sidetracked. I, I need to get rid of these. There's way too many of them. And to help me with this build, I drew up a quick sketch. And I didn't do this on digitally, so you're just going to get a picture of it instead. This is a good start here, but I've also prepped some cut tough because I want to get in a train platform, and that's the block I've been using. So I'm we can start in this corner here and extend it all the way out. Yeah, let's do it to our shulker boxes and then a cross right here. I'm envisioning a few steps right here, and then we can run it back into the wall. And I think I want the ground level to be right up here, so I'm not going to extend that down. But I will We'll go ahead and fill it in and then we can leave a little bit of a gap in that right there for the little front bit that we have on the sketch. And now let's get these foundations here finished up. Great start here. And I'm envisioning this to be the foundation for the tower. Then we have that little side bit right over there. We get the front bit and we have the main building here in the middle supported by the deep slate. So let's start with this little bit over here. And I want to grab a few deep slate bricks on top of this for a little bit of an edge. Then some jungle planks here on the inside right there. Because I'm thinking the floor is going to go on that level. And then moving up from this, let's add in the wall. Starting us off with some jungle here towards the bottom. And once we reach a little higher here, we can start adding in some oak. While we're up here, we might as well start to add in a roof on this little bit here. And I'm thinking we go super, super simple here with a few slabs, just stacking those up here on the outside. We can join together the previous trim here with this one. And then we can take some deep state tiles here and just extend them over a few blocks. And this will eventually meet the wall of the main structure. It looks a little weird with only one support up there. So let's actually get rid of that. And then we'll replace it with two of them instead. 
yeah, that looks better. We'll also get some further, a little bit of support down here, or, well, mainly decoration. And, of course, this gap right here in the middle is for a big window. And who doesn't love a good old bay window? And, well, if I had higher render distance, I think it would be a pretty nice view. With the first bit done, I swiftly moved on to the main portion, filling in the walls with a brick mix. With the main structure in here now, let's start getting in a couple of walls. And we'll go with the same texture we did on the little other sticky out bit. Yep, that's that's technical term, sticky out bit. I've already gotten an early start here on some decorations for a main entrance. And on the inside of this, we'll just start with some spruce trap doors right here at the top, which we'll extend down. Some spruce to start off our floor. And well, we might as well actually add in the whole floor. Then with the inside prepped a little bit, hopping up to the roof of the front here, and we can start adding in a simple barn shape roof. Running through our building here now, we need to get this edge in. And, well, it's gonna be a giant tower. So, let's start stacking this up. Let's build this tower up quite a bit. Moving up here, I've started incorporating a little bit of rooted dirt in the build. Fly back up here to get in the final touches. Or well, at least the shell of the building. So to combat that, I definitely needed to get the roofs in on both the main structure and the tower. Some final fixes here right on the side. And now I want to switch some gears and do some create. Switch up gears. Get it. Create. <laughs> so funny. Um, you should um, consider subscribing for more awful jokes. And um, because it really helps me out. And I'm not sure why I haven't done this before. But of course, I should just put my toolboxes in my ender chest. And then I have them with me wherever I go. The first thing I'm going to want running in here is definitely a bulk processing machine. So that I can blast, wash, and huff haunt and all of that stuff super fast. So we'll get two lines of shoots in right here. And I'm pretty sure, yes, I have some copycat panels. Which I want to place right at the back right there. Then we can run some blocks. I'm still getting used to using these, but getting ourselves a few encased fans. Hop up and we can place some fans right here. Then let's get a campfire, soul campfire, water, and lava in right there. And the fans can blow through the copycat panels, so the lava and the water don't flow out. And you can't see the water through the... Okay, I mean, I guess... <laughs> Down here, I want to get some buttons, and I want to break up the floor just that little bit here as I got to get under. Get ourselves some redstone links here that we can place down here. And I'm going to use a fan on the red one. I should have done this before I placed them. So I'm just going to place some random items in them instead. I should never use these filters. But what we're going to do here is get some pistons right up here, and you'll see why in just a second before we can place some redstone links on the back of that. And yet again, get our random mix of items in on these. And with those being set to receive mode, if I press press this button here that will activate the piston and that's because i want this to be a choke box unloader and i easily want to get the choke box back a few more details here to get in to get it in working order and that should do it. So I've added in a display board right up here, which we can uh, display a little bit of interesting things later on. And that's going to be powered from over here. And then we have a lot of excess space in here, which I can build even more bulk machines in, just like this one. But for now, I'm going to keep it to this one. And as I need more, I'll add them. I've also gotten done some final decorations here on the outside, but the tower is still lacking a little bit. If you look up here, these dark oak windows, I want frog lights behind them. And um, I don't have a frog light farm, nor do I have access to frog lights so i think we gotta go build a frog light farm but before we go and do that i'm afraid this side is looking a little flat so i did add in that and i want to add in some sort of a balcony here if we get ourselves up here and we can jump in here and place a door first of all actually back over here i want to start with some staircases can i get these placed i don't think so okay we'll, we'll, we'll use the scaffolding it's fine it's fine be smart about it stam oh I'm, i've still fallen we'll get a little railing on the outside of this up here, some more spruce to add in some sort of a roof and maybe connect that down. Then bringing out some dark oak fence gates for the undersides of the stairs for this little balcony. And why the stair is up there and there's a stair, I'm, I'm not really sure. But there is. Having a step back here now and taking a look at how this build is looking, I've gotten inspired. And I'm envisioning turning this area in here into a courtyard. Which means I need a building going off like that and around there. And well, I needed to do a little more work on this side 
side nonetheless. So why not? I wanted to get this sketched out, so I grabbed my paper and updated the sketch. But with an extension planned, I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier, but I really want to get some frog lights for these trap doors here at the top. And I've done a little bit of preparation work over on my streams, which means that I have a whole frog light farm in a box. And also, I'm going to be streaming three times a week throughout all of January on the YouTube. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. And I'm definitely going to build this on the nether roof. So I'm going to grab a few stacks of redstone as I'm 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 not really confident with the piston breaking method or, or the TNT breaking method, I mean. So let's craft up some pistons because I do still need those. And I just need some extra blocks and ooh, ender pearls because I need to get through the roof. So ender pearls, perfect. I almost forget those. All right, some ladders, throw an ender pearl in there and well, we're on the roof. Perfect. Now with this method, I'm going to be able to break quite a lot pretty fast. So I think I'm going to break right here. And okay, let's see if I remember how to do this. So we're going to place some pistons facing outwards. Blocks on both of those. And then we'll place some redstone. No. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then place those. And now we break the redstone. Okay, good. And now we just have to place a bunch of redstone. All right, okay, let's let's see if I manage to do this. So, I'm gonna need my pistons, and we should be able to go. So, spam this. Something like that. Remove these blocks. Get under here. Break these. And some pistons facing downwards. Quickly, because if it runs out, it will break. And then now we wait. For, for, for that to finish. I think I held it for too long. Yeah, I, I held it for a little too long. Oh. Yes, there we go. I think... Yeah, there we go. Six bedrock broken. Oh, I no, maybe not actually. Hello. Hi. Well, uh, um, that didn't work as planned. We'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and try it again. Maybe a few less. Oh, I'm missing a beacon. This is never gonna work. I've got some coordinates written down for a nether portal that I'm gonna use for now, and um, we'll, we'll fix this eventually. All right, should be right here. And we hop that in, and um, I should see some frogs on the other side of this. Yep, because I also prepped a couple of frogs. I still need to go get the uh, white ones from uh, the uh, from the uh, from the mangrove swamp. But we'll go and get these in just a second, as I want to get this frog light farm built. So hopping into replay mode here for a quick time lapse. Okay, yep, it's definitely working. Um, there's a few too many. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. I don't have my rockets out. <laughs> yeah. All right, first golem going in there. Oh. Uh-oh. All right, I finally got them in there. Now I just need to start moving a couple of frogs. And I've AFK'd the frog light farm a bit, and hopefully we have enough. And oh yeah, okay, yeah, this is plenty. And why is there one of those guys die? Oh no, right, I, I one escaped and I and I killed it. Okay, right. Oh yeah, challenge completed. Okay, yeah, I think it did quite well. Um, <laughs> one chalk box wasn't even enough to empty it. Also got some extra magma cream, which is nice. Another box I made. Okay, and all of that just head up in the tower and place down. Is it six? No, it's actually gonna be. 12 frog lights. At least I can use it for the future. I've also just eaten my last piece of food. So hopefully, yes, more pigs. So let's grab this stack of raw pork up here. And I do have a cutting board here. And here is a knife. So I should just be able to... Yes, there we go. Perfect. And perfect, two stacks of raw bacon. And I want to make bacon sandwiches. So I'm going to need tomatoes, cabbage leaves, and bread. So let's grab two stacks of cabbage, two stacks of tomatoes, and how much wheat do I have? Oh, that's... Is that going to be enough? Hold up, let's see if a harvest does it. Oh, I do not think so. Darn. Yes, I've got to do some manual harvesting. Let's quickly cook this bacon. Make sure not to blast it. And is there actually a cheaper way to make bread? Yes, with water buckets. Which is... Damn, no, I'm, I'm too lazy to do that. Or I'm I, I, actually never mind. I'm not too lazy to do that one, though. We already had one dough on there, I guess. But 
We can another stack with this. We can blast it. Not blast it. Uh, smoke it. There we go. With our stacks of bread, we can make two stacks of bacon sandwiches. Perfect. And yep, they taste good. They taste good. For the extension now of the building factory, I need to gather up even more blocks. And the first stop to gather up blocks is going to be the lumber mill, where I need all kinds of different woods. These are all the wood supplies we'll be needing for this build, with a lot of other blocks missing. I just ran around my storage room a little bit to try to gather up most of them. Now, I've only got one crushing wheel here to work with, and I need a few more. And I've already got some anisite alloys. Just gonna need a little bit of wood and some stone block. I think Anside works. Hopefully this is on. No, it's it's not on. Um, what I could do. It's gonna be a little slower, but it's gonna work. Pretty sure I remember the recipe by now. It said these faster than the first time I was doing these. Yep, perfect. And there's one more block, and there's few of that. Um, I should have a few more mushroom stems. Yes, 19 more. Th that that's it now i'm gonna just combat this issue directly as i've had it for a while so i'm gonna need a hand crank and do i have a saw up here yes i do okay perfect because i want to take the actual time here to build a mushroom farm or ranch maybe and for the longest time i've had no idea what i want to build down here but it really needs something so i'm gonna clear out a few trees I think this is going to be sufficient space for the building I want to build. And then we might have to clear a little more space to fit in the actual farm. And I have gone ahead here and prepped a couple of blocks. So let's go ahead and start with a little bit of digging. Now I want to jump straight into this build here. And let's start with a floor for our basement slash first floor. Before we can start building a couple of walls around this, of course. Over here, I'm thinking we can start in a chimney, which we'll go ahead and extend up in just a little bit. I want to bring out both of the short sides here, just a block to add a little bit of shape to this whole build. Then we can come in with some white terracotta on top of this. Continue this upwards here on the corners, where we can start adding in a little bit of mushroom stem. I know, using mushroom stems when I'm supposed to be making them, it's fine. And then above this here, I want to take off our red mushroom blocks, and let's start adding those in. Let's see, we'll go that, then we'll go two more up. And finally, two more up again. And yep, this looks very weird. But if you take some red mushroom blocks and connect them like this, all across this, and then we remove those, you're gonna get a brownish texture, and it looks very nice. It's just a little bit of extra work. But in the front of this, I want to bring out a bay window, and I'm thinking we're eventually going to put the mushroom farm out here, so this window can be a nice little area to look over that. And while we're at it, decorating this side, I want to remove the block right up here, and just use that. Oh, no, no, that's not the right temporary block. I want to place that. Then we can remove this and shut it. And with that side figured out, and now we just have to replicate it, I want to get a little bit distracted first. As we come out, one, two, and three blocks here. Extend up some deep slate pillars to this block, and then back into the wall without falling stamp. We can go two blocks up, connect this, another two blocks up and connect them. And then we can also connect this over into the wall. Or maybe not. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think, I, I don't think I want that. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna be doing a little bit of terrain work here in just a little bit. But for these to look a little nicer, I do wanna add in a few gates here to just round off the corners a little bit. Filling in a little floor here with some spruce because I do love my spruce. For some decorations out here, let's get some walls in right here. Now that I think about it, let's remove one of those. Two gates, 
another wall, then we can connect that over to the wall and to the adventure wall that's going to be here. And thinking a little ahead here, let's get in a flower bed where I'm thinking we'll have a window right here and we'll get an allium and a rose bush just like that. Perfect. Out here, I want to extend up some spruce fences to blocks. Then we can start on the roof, at least on this part with some viridium. Which can go all the way over over the flower bed. And that's that's a missed block. There we go. And maybe some down here and another gate. Yeah, that's gonna look good. Just have to fix the rest. As we got the style down for the main portion of the build, we just gotta replicate it on the other three sides. Well, it's starting to look like a building at least. Before we tackle the roof here, I do want to bring out at the back door here a little bit of a ramp. So I'm thinking we take out two oak and then two more. Some upside down stairs and then we can fill this in with some slabs for a little bit of a ramp. As if the farms are out here, you can be transporting the blocks into here. I'm not really going to be using the space up here, but it's here and it's a little cute. With the build looking cute, we still have to finish up the roof. So grabbing some waxed exposed copper to finish that off. It's a little odd and I'm using some blocks that might not be used too often, but I quite like it. But it's just a house right now, so I booted up my stream to first of all work on a pathway leading over there. And with the road now over here done, I just had to finish up the actual farm. Now I gave it a quick test run here on stream and it works absolutely amazing. Now all I need to do is cut down all of the stems and well, I have to cut down the caps as well, but I feel it's worth it. So let's gather up a few of these now that we have the farm working. Now definitely getting a lot of brown mushroom blocks, but I'm also getting the stems, so can I really complain? And now I just gotta run in and get the final blocks. And here are all of the blocks that I hope to be using, and I've also got some components right in here, along with my toolboxes in the ender chest. Oop, almost, oh! Well, oh, okay. And I want to jump straight into getting some building done here. So I want to start off with extending our tough foundation here. And we'll extend that off, leave a little gap right there. And then let's see, one, two, and another three blocks. And then we can start the structure going that way. On top of this here, let's grab in some stone bricks right here. And I uh, gotta get myself up there. We can bounce up here and then connect these up right here. Because I do want to do an archway in here to get over to a path that I've just built on stream which you can see right here coming back to the focus of the video instead i want to continue extending these walls up here to give us something like this for this little archway here as well let's try something new with some spruce support oh, well spruce support aren't really new but i haven't done an archway like this before so we'll just take away all of those and yeah that's looking actually pretty good what we'll start doing next here is grabbing our spruce wood and dotting that every other block right here then realize you forget the blocks have to hop down and not the egg thank you and get some dark oak slabs to put in between and while we're down here, let's throw some spruce buttons. Maybe let's also see some dark oak support that we can throw below here to give it a little bit more of a supported look. Yeah, I'm liking that. Moving on top of this, I think we're going to have to connect this somewhere here. So let's leave space for a doorway. And we'll continue this pattern off right here using our diorite mix. Moving upwards, I want to start... Nope, that's that's the powder. I need the block to incorporate here. Where we can continue this pattern up to form a wall. And then we can add in some orange stained windows right here. And I can just walk there. Place some fence gates on the top. Place some mangrove leaves at the bottom. No, no not there. And then we can get some trap doors to get some shutters in here. Up, uh, up. Uh. And why not throw some flower pots? That's starting to look good, but all right. We're gonna need some more catwalks and a door, which if we just extend this one out two blocks, we can add in the door and getting our wrench out to hopefully fix this with minor problems. Perfect. And ooh, that's, that's, that, that's gonna be like that. With the style for this portion of the build now down, I moved on to the other side to fill that in. Just like on the opposite side, I want to extend out the balcony here and we'll remove those two. And then we can start adding in the back of these. Uh, actually, no, these are going to be right here because then I can place these off the end. Perfect. And a door. And now this balcony makes a little more sense. Throw some gunpowder in here. I've also prepped the schematic cannon, which I'm going to let go now. 
And, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's gonna be building up here, but uh, this is a part which I didn't design myself, and it's also very, very precise, and there has to be timings, and I'm, I wasn't confident that I could uh, build it. And while the schematic cannon is working away at the create components in the attic, I want to get the foundation layer in. For this, I'm bringing back some acacia and cyan terracotta, and it looks like it's finished up there, uh, like I am down here, and I just need to run up and check. So what this is, is Batsy's design on a cobble generator and it's all her brains down here i need to get a minecart in but this is a really lag efficient farm which i really need in this world i have to get some final things in here such as the water and the lava but i i, I need to get the rest of the building in before i can do that i need to get a minecart before i forget which needs to go right in okay let me just uh which needs to go right right in there okay perfect i could turn this on technically or maybe i should yes it it definitely works okay let's turn it back off before i break anything I'm scared I'm gonna break stuff. If, if it were to break now, it would probably break while running. I'm not sure what would be worse. I do want to come in here on the outside for a little bit. And first of all, get a floor in. And well, we're gonna be using our cobble deep state because cobble deep state floors look amazing. As I want to take a little bit of a break from building and get some technical things in here. So let's start off with some barrels and hoppers. And taking some item vaults. Let's get our storage in first. So we'll get them four long. And I'm gonna be creating three things in here. So well, I need to have three giant Waltz. Perfect. So this one over here is gonna be gravel, this one's gonna be sand, and this one's gonna be terracotta. I'm gonna actually want some depots here instead, so that we can output items onto those. And I realized my funnels are empty. I need more funnels. I'm also out of electron tubes, so flying here over to the redstone factory, where I should be able to grab another stack, so that I can craft up two more stacks of brass funnels. Perfect. I'm gonna be working backwards here, getting some create components in right over here. Working on the area where the clay is going to be smelted into terracotta. Uh oh, I've had a, I've had a minor accident. Whoops! I need to get these glass trap doors in first. Flip them down, and um, I'm gonna go retrieve the other ones because I, I still need those. Oh, it's a little dangerous. Okay, we're good. And now we can place back the lock. And to also make this a little safer, let's get a few trap doors in here to cover it up a little bit. But I'm gonna need to leave that one bucket right there open. As I wanna set up a weighted ejector targeting that block from right over here. As we can start on the clay area right over here. Where I wanna turn sand into clay. And to do this, I'm using a basin to compact clay balls into clay blocks. And I'm not going to go into too much depth of what is going on right here, but it's basically the components returning clay into terracotta. And we're going to get some more components up here set up in just a little bit. But new for this episode, I'm going to be releasing a video on my second channel where I go into a more in-depth view on how all of the farms and components I built in the video works. So if you're new to create or just want to learn a little bit more, consider heading over there and checking it out. It'll be linked in the description. I'm also going to take some comments from the previous video, so I'm going to look back at episode 10 for this one and see if there's any comments i want to reply to in a video format instead where i can go a little bit more in depth and i think it's a really fun spin on what dejojo is doing on his question of the day enough of the self plug and with my create itch scratched i moved on to creating the second story with some further details here the second floor is looking awesome with some uh, minor conducities because i need to get the roof in and i think that should lay pretty well on top of that but the first floor is lacking a little bit so to the side facing the steam engine was a bit flat and that's where I left a big open area here where I can extend in a crimson part. And to finish this little crimson outcropping here, I want to extend in a super, super simple deep slate roof. We'll just slant it up and make it a little more with some blocks. Another layer in. Don't have enough deep slate to do this, so we'll take away that. And I'm too lazy to run to a storage, so let's just extend in some stairs right here instead. That does not look that bad. But what does look bad is these being open, so let's get some trap doors to fix that. Super simple, but it adds to the site. Some more decorations here with some spruce support on these gateways as well. Make them slightly different from the other archway. No. 
Oh, luckily I have a few extra laying around. Above this as well, let's flip this upside down and extend in those two. Then we flip it back and we can do this little thing right here. Yep, I'm liking that. And we can remove those without stripping any more logs. Thank you. Over on these little windows here, let's add in some spruce and birch in the middle. And then we do not strip. And now I'm a little scared of doing it, but I'm managing. Finally, over here, some blue windows, leaves. Realizing I don't have any scaffolding on me, so let's get some trapdoors in up there. And if we can just uh, join that in and finally a few more spruce support on the side to act as shutters perfect getting a floor in right over here so that we can start working on the create components here on the inside and these are a little bit complicated here so i'm using logmatica to get them in and i could be using a schematic cannon but i think it's fun to place the blocks myself Let's go grab ourselves some crushing wheels here and get those in on top of these right here. And I am in love with this machine. I need to remove that and get one final crushing wheel in there so that we can get gravel from there, sand from here, and then the terracotta from the side. And with the create components finished, I just had to finish up the roof to get the cobblestone farm working. I used a colorful one for the one in the middle and then a mud and spruce for the other one. Now, the building is looking great. I, I I do need to do a little bit of work on the outside here, but I want to see if this all works. Now, I'm, I've, I'm really hoping it does, because I'm not remembering if I set up all of the logic correctly, so we'll have to find out. But let's grab our... Where are those? Let's grab our kinetics, and I think I want to power it from here somewhere. What if I just extend this belt down and into the ground? Yeah, that should work. Oh, and yeah, here it is. Okay, perfect. I'm going to break these two. Let's Replace them with two new ones. Yep, passing on the, the river at the steam power plant. I've also just thought about it and... Oh, I don't have any speed controllers. Uh-oh. I'm gonna go ahead and make four here as I'm also out of brass casing. Gotta make a few of those. But I'm not out of precision mechanisms, luckily. It's a little yank, but if we reverse it and speed it up, I think that should be working. I'm gonna hope I'm correct and just start to fill this hole in as uh, we're not gonna be needing it. There we go. So these all seem to be working. Are they spinning the correct direction? Ooh, they're not. Okay, so we need to invert this signal somewhere, uh, which I'm already doing up there. Okay, let's, uh, let's revert it again. Perfect. Now those are blowing air this way and we can place a choker box up there and we can get the smelted items. And yep, all works. Moment of hope over here. Yes. Okay. It all seems to be spinning the correct direction except this one because it's missing a shaft right there. All right. One final thing that we need to do is to turn on the cobble gen, which means I need to switch this here to a receive mode. Yep. Okay. That sounds like it's working. Uh oh, this belt isn't working though. Hmm. But oh, my logic is wrong. No, it's not off. It's correct. I'm just missing a shaft in the middle of these two, I think. Yep, right there. Oh, perfect. There we go. I'm glad to see that it's working. We're starting to see terracotta in here, sand in here, and gravel right over here. Perfect. The terracotta is not gonna be filling up quite so much right now, just because it doesn't have its own line. So all of the sand is currently being put into the storage. But once that fills up, it's gonna be turned into clay instead through this washing station down here. Now, what I've also done here is I've gone ahead and rerouted the train track to go into the mountain instead. And that loops around and eventually arrives up here. And before you tell me, yes, I, kn I know the, the train tracks aren't realistic, but this is Minecraft. And that's because I want this to be some sort of a station, so I definitely want the train to be able to stop right here. But we also need it to go over there. And I'm just realizing now that that's th that one is one higher. Aww. That should be fine. I just need to mine a little bit of deep slates. Okay, it actually works with a little bit of an elevation change here. It should be fine. If we just make it go up and then it can come back down and over to that station. Perfect. Oh, that's why this train is going so fast because there's coal in it because it's mined coal from mining the tunnel. Oh, oh, okay. We're up here now. Okay, let's see. How do we do this? I want to run it from the other direction. I'm scared it's going to break any of my builds here because I have a few extra rollers on it. Um, yeah, that's going to be an issue. Okay, time, time to revamp it more. I should really get two trains for doing this. Okay, let's see how that. So we'll turn on the rollers and let's see how this works. All right, it's mining some deep state. That's why it's a little slow. But this should work pretty well. Scared it's going to break a little bit over here. Nope, it's fine. Oh, it's killed a chicken though. And then 
down into the slope, which also hasn't been deep slated. At least not the top part here. If we go a little bit in, it has. It should start right around this corner. Yep, right there. You can see it. Oh, speed. Okay, well, that fixes the track issue. And also help me get a little bit of a clearer idea on where I want to bring the terrain in this area. So let's go and grab some dirt. Where I want to try to level it out a little bit and make it a little smoother. a few decoration blocks but i want to grab some rooted dirt and a little bit of normal dirt as i want to get a few more decorations in here something i want to start off with is to bring out some walls right over here and we'll do that roughly like that yes to just border it off a little bit from this area over here then let's bring in a couple of crates here in front we'll get some coal barrels maybe and what do i have maybe a spruce barrel down here an oak crate on that something a little bit further off and maybe even a chest just for a little bit of pile of material also how we oh oh that's okay well this one is expected to be a little lower how much do i actually have oh that that looks weird but 21,000. okay that's filling up real fast anyhow let's get a few more barrels maybe up in this corner over here i, I want you facing upwards thank you for i also want to cover this up right over here so we'll get even a couple more barrels maybe a copper one and another one right over here because i do have them and they add a little bit of different color and that fills out the areas quite nicely but i do want to take this rooted dirt and normal dirt and just add a little bit of texture to this so let's see here let's get some normal dirt right here in the middle then a bit of rooted dirt on the outside of that and that gives it a little more interest perfect and with the courtyard detailed up a little bit i wanted to move to the front facing the city and the rest of the world to decorate that up and match it up to the steam power plant a little more with those additions the building factory is complete both this factory and the brand new ranch will make life even easier when it comes to building and this is going to be the last video of 2023 and i just want to say a massive thank you this year has been absolutely amazing and i hope to make 2024 even better so thank you so very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.